Hello, I hope you're doing well. This is my attempt to make a new video on this channel because I want to talk more about gender stuff. Before I had my surgery, it really helped me to watch videos from other people who had already done it to prepare myself mentally and even maybe yeah, physically, just like thinking what I would look like, what I would go through. This is what I want to do too, I want to make videos helping you and today I'm going to talk about the products that I use to help my scars heal. One thing that's important to remember is that you cannot use this stuff like at the very beginning because in the beginning in the beginning there are not scars yet. In the beginning you have incisions and they are like wounds really that have to heal into a scar. If I remember correctly, I think after about three weeks, three about four weeks, my incisions had turned into scars and from that moment on I was allowed to go to the physiotherapist and massage my scars because they were already scars by then. So don't use these products before then and always of course listen to what your surgeon has to say because maybe your surgeon has another plan for you than I have and I'm not a specialist so I just can tell you what helps me and I know that some surgeons really don't give that much thought about aftercare, they don't really help you with that, they're like <laughs> we did this operation and now it's fine, you have to like figure it out yourself a bit and that's not really, well that's not really fun of course if you have to figure out yourself what you have to do to heal your body. So that's why I make this video and also because I used different stuff and I can tell you what my experience was with it. Everybody reacts differently, just take that into account. So basically I started off with bio oil, that's what my surgeon recommended me. This is what it looks like. Yeah. This should be good stuff to let your scars heal. I used this I think not that long, maybe for a week until I started physiotherapy. This was actually great I think, I just didn't use it that long so I cannot say that much about it. You know, it's fluid, it smells okay-ish <laughs> and uh, you know, I've had many people recommend this to me prior top surgery just in general for scars, for scarring, even if you have other kind of scars on your body, you can also use this. But what I used for most of the time after my surgery was this. Talgo. It says it's a stretch mark cream, but my physiotherapist recommended me this the first time that I went there. She also used this on me while she was massaging my scars and my first thought was, wow, this smells so great. Like, okay, I, I told you this smells great, but actually this is just like plain smell. <laughs> this is awesome. This smells like cream that is a bit perfumish, <laughs> if that is a word. It really has a, a smell that is very nice. And so that is what attracted me to it. And then my physiotherapist told me it really works very well on scars. And um, yeah, she kind of, made me believe I had to buy it. Maybe that's her job to, to let me buy stuff, but um, yeah, I listened to her and I do think that it helps. I, I feel like it helps. And I like the texture more than, than bio oil. I like to put it on my scars. And basically you put it like twice a day on your scars. And um, this is something that really is, it's really great. So it's called Babscar Care, Babscar Care, whatever you, however you pronounce it. And basically, it's silicone sheets that you put on your scars. You can leave them on for multiple days, and normally they will come off by themselves. The sheets, so you don't have to do much, which I like. So on the days that I have this on my scars, I don't have to put the cream on my scars. That way I think my aftercare I'm doing it pretty well because I almost always have this on my scars and if I don't I try to remember to put the cream on there. This is really great, I 
do think it is like maybe the best thing to put on your scars because it doesn't demand a lot from you you just have to put it on once and then wait till it falls off and if it doesn't fall off and it starts to itch or if you're like me maybe at some point you get a bit you get a little like very small infections underneath the sheet then it's time to <laughs> pull it up and uh, maybe let it heal for a few days before you put new ones on again or you can also rewash these ones in the beginning i didn't really understand that well so i always threw them away which was very expensive don't do that like wash them please wash them you just put them in yeah in water okay they are sticky so naturally they will try to stick a bit together in one big messy thing but you can just pull it open again and leave it to dry maybe take a bit of the the mess out of there like if there's hairs that got stuck in there or you know a little bit of filthy stuff <laughs> and then you let it dry and when it's dry or even before then even if it's a little wet still you can put it on your scar again and it will work very well it will stick to you again it's really amazing it's expensive it's in belgium it's around 80 euros as you can see this as you can see this is a cheat and this is also a sheet so it goes from here up to here somewhere and here up to here you cut them yourself so you can make them smaller or bigger um, depending on depending on how long your scars are you can you can choose how how long you cut them just to give you an idea right now i am almost four months post operation so this is what it looks like for me in four months of the uh, this is what it looks like four months after top surgery for me uh, as you can see here it's a little bit bigger than the rest but that's okay <laughs> I hope that can help you a little bit. Again, I would recommend these two products and um, for me this works. Okay, I'll see you next time and I hope you like this video. I will make sure to upload more in the future. And if you have any questions gender related or top surgery related or sexuality related, whatever, let me know in the comments and I will maybe <laughs> answer them in the next video. Alright, I'll see you another time.